The first of the five components of physical fitness is muscular endurance. Muscular endurance is the ability of your muscles to repeat a motion over a long period of time. It is a duration measurement. Distance runners, road runners, depend on muscular endurance to compete in their sport. They have muscular endurance, a muscle that can repeat an action over and over. The second component is muscular strength. Muscular strength is how strong a muscle is in any single given lift or any short-term exertion. It's the actual strength of the muscles. The third component is cardiovascular endurance. Cardiovascular endurance is how much oxygen the body can process through the heart-lung system into the blood and the muscles. Cardiovascular endurance is a measure of your VO2 max, essentially. To be able to sing and dance and move requires good cardiovascular endurance. The third, fourth factor is flexibility. Flexibility is the ability of the body to bend, to reach, to flex. Related to flexibility is balance. Balance is part of flexibility. If you're not flexible, you will not be able to balance. So, flexibility is the fourth component of physical fitness. The last component is body composition. And body composition specifically refers to what percent of your body is uh, fat, and what percent is muscle, and what percent is bone. And often in physical fitness, we talk about it being simply what percent of your body is fat, body fat. Uh, and that's the body composition. So that's the five factors of physical fitness. Muscular endurance, muscular strength, cardiovascular endurance, your flexibility, and finally, your uh, body composition. There will be other videos during this week that will help elucidate these five factors, bring out the definitions more specifically.